these horrid dreams feel like deja vu? Why am I dreaming such awful things? Just two days ago, my gloomy morning thoughts were interrupted by Bates' knock at the door. Sir! Sir, open up! I must speak to you! Hold on, Bates. I'm there in a moment. What is it, Bates? They just called from Ashbury regarding a very serious matter. I think it is necessary that you go there as soon as possible, sir. Why? What exactly did they say? I spoke with the head nurse. She did not want to tell me what has happened. I am very concerned. Maybe some news of Sir Robert. Did she tell you anything more? She did not want to tell me anything specific, sir. Did you speak with Victoria about it? No, sir. I didn't want to disturb her. Hopefully nothing much has happened, but it would be good to know for sure. All right. I'll pay them a visit. In the meantime, keep this whole thing to yourself. Of course. And, sir, the weather is truly terrible. A vigorous storm is approaching. The sky is entirely overcast, as though it were night. I have no previous recollection of such horrid weather. It is very strange indeed. Going to be a strong thunderstorm, that's all. But thank you for the warning. On the way to Ashbury, Bates's words resonated in my mind. Only the dark silhouette of the Ashbury Sanatorium quieted them. I wonder what news of Robert I will learn. Hej, siemaneczko wam wszystkim ludziska, z tej strony Arturo, witam was na swoim kanale i kontynuujemy Black Mirror. Mamy rozdział piąty, przedostatni. Mam nadzieję, że uda mi się tą gierkę zakończyć w dwóch odcineczkach, a to dlatego, że we wtorek ma premierę nowe Black Mirror. Kodzik na Steama już mam zakupiony i nie mogę się doczekać, kiedy w końcu zacznę w nią grać. Ale kontynuujmy naszą przygodę w tym momencie. Podobno pielęgniarka ma dla nas jakieś nowiny, sprawdźmy to. It's Samuel Gordon. Can you let me in? Just one moment, Mr. Gordon. Mieliśmy też okropny sen o kolejnym morderstwie. Komuś została odcięta głowa. Podejrzewam, że był to Herman, ponieważ wydaje mi się, że cała akcja działa się w kostnicy. Mr. Gordon, I have terrible news for you. The head doctor is dead. Robert? What are you talking about? An officer and a detective were here. It's awful. How did it happen? They said they found his body at the old lighthouse. James was sitting right next to the body. James? He was just sitting there, gazing. He didn't even try to escape. Just kept crooning some melody. I never thought that he would be able to kill someone. Where is James now? Where did they take him? Where he belongs, back in his old cell. It's going to be his home for life. So, Robert is dead. But if James had killed him, why didn't he run away? Hmm. Robert nie żyje, a to ciekawe. Bo my w poprzednim odcineczku byliśmy w latarni i nigdzie tam nie widzieliśmy Roberta, tylko Jamesa. Jak to się mogło wydarzyć? Mam nadzieję, że się tego dowiemy po rozmowie z Jamesem. I'd like to visit James. Can you let me into the main hall to his cell? How do you know where his cell is? Hmm? Well, Robert was in charge of this sanatorium, you remember? He told me where I'd find James. Sorry, I did not realize that. All right then. I will let you in. But after what has happened, I cannot let you go in there alone. I will have to go with you. No problem. We can go then. You know the way, as you are so well informed. I'll be right behind you. Oh, not this. Wait here. I must fetch a doctor. What happened? James, 
What he feared most has happened. He couldn't return to this place. Wow, James się powiesił. Chyba już nigdy nie dowiemy się prawdy, co tak naprawdę stało się z Robertem. No, niezbyt przyjemny widok. At least he died quickly. Ewidentnie widać, że on już nie żyje. Dlaczego pielęgniarka poszła po lekarza? Żeby stwierdzić akt zgonu. Wzięliśmy pęk kluczy. I recognize that tag. Robert's keys. Wow. A na ścianie jest nasze imię. Któż to namalował i to jeszcze krwią? James wrote my name on the wall. Why did he do it? To ciekawe. Ha, dziura też jest zaklejona. Someone has plastered over it. Czy ja mam coś, czym bym mógł zdrapać ten gips? Może nożykiem? I'll try to get the plaster off. Damn, the blade cracked. Ralph, can you hear me? Yes, I, I can, Samuel. Uh, have you come to visit me? Or have you come to visit James? James? James is no longer here, Ralph. Why are you saying that? James is here with me. He's always here with, with me. I can hear his voice. He wouldn't leave me alone here. I need to ask you about something that concerns James. Yes. Me and Mr. Bobby will help you. Dobra, Ralph ma jakieś omamy suchowe. Słyszy Jamesa, mimo że on nie żyje. No cóż, ale podobno chorzy na schizofrenię tak właśnie mają. Ralph, when did you last speak with James? Do you remember? Yes, Samuel. What did he say? Did he talk about why he escaped? M maybe, but he was so terrified and was saying such a lot. Was very confused by it all. He kept saying that he hadn't killed him. That's what he was saying. Robert? Y yes, him. What else did he say? He said he knew who killed him. That he knew. The name. Can you remember the name of the person he was talking about? No, no. I was confused. He also t told me he's saying goodbye and that we would not see each other again. He didn't want to be put in his room again. Ralph, please, try to remember who James was speaking about. I don't know. I really don't. He wouldn't speak then, and there was a long silence. I don't like such silence. All right, Ralph. I have to leave now. Okay, Samuel. Mr. Bobby says, okay. Ralph was the last one to speak to James. But I probably won't be able to get much more out of him. What are you doing here? Get out immediately! You have no business being in here! set off for the old lighthouse on the sharp edge cliffs. The only possible place where I can find out something about Robert's death. So here's where they found Robert's body. Kto tak naprawdę zabił Roberta? To jest największa zagadka w tej grze. Dziura wśród cegieł. It's too dark. I can't see anything in there. Czy ja mam coś, czym bym mógł to rozświetlić? Chyba nie. Może coś będę mógł tutaj zabrać. It's too dark. I can't see anything in there. Mamy klucze. Ale do czego są te klucze? Dobra. Chyba nic w tym miejscu zrobić nie możemy. I, 
Nie mogę teraz wyjść. A dobra, mamy pełną zapalniczkę. Wow, kolejny symbol. Another symbol. I should make a picture of this one too. Wiecie co jest najciekawsze, że robimy zdjęcie za pomocą pamiętnika Williama. Done. Dobra. Then I'll go to the mall. Herman may know something new. No właśnie wydaje mi się, że Herman nie żyje. Sądząc po tym filmiku, który pojawił się w naszym śnie. I should ring the bell. Wydaje mi się, że to się działo w kostnicy. He probably didn't hear the bell. I'll try again. He isn't answering. Strange. I thought he'd be at home. It's open. I'll have a look around. Okay, weszliśmy do środka. Zejdziemy sobie na dół. I mamy kolejne ciało. Where could Herman be? He left the door open and the mall too. Strange indeed. Powiem wam tak, że Samuel ma naprawdę nerwy ze stali. Ja bym chyba tak po prostu nie wszedł sobie do kostnicy. Shit. Okej. Okay. No i Samuel zwymiotował. What could have happened here? Tak jak myślałem, mamy tutaj ciało doktora. Who could have killed him? And why? Ma odciętą głowę. He's clasping something in his hand. The fingers have stiffened and cannot be opened in their post-mortem spasm. W sumie nie mam nic w ekwipunku, żebym mógł rozszerzyć te palce. Dobra, rozejrzyjmy się. That expression in his eyes. Awful. No, nieźle. Podejdźmy sobie do lampy. I'll turn on the lamp. It's quite dark in here. Dobra, możemy otworzyć szafkę. Mamy pęsetę. Myślę, że pęseta nam się przyda, żeby rozszerzyć palce Hermana. An old microscope. Is this what I think it is? Mamy też mózg. Ciekawe kogo. There are a few plastic bags under the book. I'll take them. There is nothing in them. Okay. Chyba nic więcej przy tym biurku nie znajdziemy. Dobra, podejdźmy sobie jeszcze raz do ciała, użyjemy pęsety na dłoni i zobaczymy, co Herman tam trzyma. The forceps should do the trick. A, ten dźwięk. Włosy. That must be the hair of the murderer. I have to put it into something. Mamy małe plastikowe torebki. The murderer has black hair. Hmm. James's hair was black as coal. I should go back to the sanatorium and obtain a sample for comparison. Czyli Samuel podejrzewa Jamesa. Powiedział, że musimy wrócić do sanatorium, tak więc za chwilkę to zrobimy. I'm not leaving yet. I need to find out more. 
musimy jeszcze coś tutaj poszukać. Może przy tym ciele coś jeszcze znajdziemy. No nie, przy ciele nic więcej nie ma. Ta głowa jest przerażająca. Symbol. Mamy kolejny symbol. Czyli co? Musimy go pewnie też przerysować do naszego pamiętnika. Got it. Mieliśmy kolejną wizję z jakąś dziwną lokacją. Someone's ringing the doorbell. I'd better leave quickly. No i trafiliśmy na detektywa. Detective? Mr. Gordon? What are you doing here? I've come to see Dr. Herman and... Uh, I know what it probably looks like, but I'll explain everything. What are you talking about, Gordon? I don't know how to say this. I found Herman downstairs. He's dead. What? I went downstairs and found his body on the table. That is a serious matter. Are you sure? I know what I have seen, Detective. His body is lying on the autopsy table. With the head off. With the head off? I must go there right away. Listen. Gordon, when you found him, were you alone? Was no one else with you? No one. Strange how coincidence tends to lead you to a corpse. He was already dead when I came around. I believe you. I know who is behind all of this. Really? Who? That lunatic who escaped from Ashbury a few days ago. Who else? Who else could possibly have committed such things? You remember that boy? And now, Herman. Disfigured. A normal person cannot have done that. That's certainly true, but he hung himself in his cell. I was in the sanatorium today. So, the murderers punished himself. Hmm. Oh well. It's justice, I say. But you haven't got any evidence. Gordon, there are several disfigured corpses and a madman was on the loose. You want more evidence? Hmm, no thanks. Good that you told me about him, Gordon. Now please leave. I've got to go downstairs and deal with this. Goodbye. Goodbye, Detective. Why would James want to kill Herman? He didn't even know him. I've got to get a hold of a sample of James's hair somehow and compare it with the chunk that Herman was clasping in his hand in his postmortem spasm. Okay, to jest dziwne, ale wydaje mi się, że James nie ma nic wspólnego ze śmiercią Hermana. Who is there? Samuel Gordon, please let me in. Just one second. Thank you. Musimy dostać się jakoś do celi Jamesa, żeby pobrać próbkę jego włosów. Czy pielęgniarka pozwoli nam tam wejść tak po prostu? Czy będziemy musieli udać się tam przez kanały? May I speak with you? Sure. Listen, I need to know something. Where is James's body? 
Excuse me? Don't ask. Just tell me where it is. Well, all right, if you must know. We cannot get hold of Dr. Herman. I don't know what is going on. So we placed the body in the old chapel in the graveyard until he arrives. It cannot stay much longer, though. It has to go to the morgue. That's all. Thanks. Okay. Wejdźmy zatem na zewnątrz i udajmy się do kapliczki na cmentarzu. W sumie do kanałów i tak wejść teraz nie możemy. Okej. Okay. Gość już się obudził. <śmiech> Ciekawe jak mu się spało. Pogadajmy z nim. Mind your own business. I've got no time for you. Dobra. Nie ma ochoty z nami gadać. Wydaje mi się, że pielęgniarka mówiła o tej kapliczce. Okej. Okay. Do środka jednak nie wejdziemy, chociaż... Mamy klucze. Czy one tu pasują? Nie. Dobra, kto by mógł mieć klucze do tej kapliczki? Chyba będziemy musieli po raz kolejny cofnąć się do pielęgniarki. Albo zapytamy się palacza. Can you tell me, why is that chapel in the graveyard locked? The old chapel? I'll tell you why. It's locked because nobody has any business going in it. Can you open it for me? No, I couldn't. Nobody is allowed to go there, like I said. But you have the key to it, right? Exactly. And it's going to stay that way. How to get into that chapel at all costs? How could I possibly obtain the key? How about you lend me your key? I'll return it in a little while. You could watch my wallet for me in the meantime. Hmm. Well, a little extra added to that lousy salary of mine would come handy. So, what do you say? Hmm. No, it's not possible. I can't do it. The head nurse would really enjoy the chance to fry my backside. I can't risk somebody finding out. Too bad. I'll keep the wallet to myself then. I won't be keeping you any longer. Good. Okay, czyli palacz ma klucz do starej kapliczki. Ale nie chce nam go przekazać, ponieważ boi się, że zostanie wylany z pracy. The boiler man probably would not like it. W jaki sposób by się mogli zdobyć klucz? He won't let me in. He would see me. A. A teraz ciekawe, bo możemy wejść do kanału. Dobra. W takim razie chodźmy do celi Jamesa. Czy znajdziemy tutaj jakieś włosy? A nie, dobra. On nie żyje, no ale wiecie. Może jakieś włosy gdzieś tutaj by były. Mamy kranik. Could use fixing. It's leaking. Quiet, so I won't get caught. This time, I wouldn't have any explanation. Dobra, możemy się poruszać po korytarzu szpitala. Wejdź do holu. I'm lucky. There's no one here. 
I've got to take advantage of that before somebody comes. Czyli coś jednak tutaj będziemy mogli zrobić. A, dobra, do holu to wyjdziemy sobie tam obok pielęgniarki. Tam chyba raczej iść nie chcemy. Ale możemy też udać się do kotłowni i myślę, że to będzie lepsze rozwiązanie. Muszę się rozejrzeć, może coś mi się przyda. I can't see anything useful. Nie widzę nic ciekawego. The door of the boiler is very hot. I will get burnt. Ale mamy tutaj szmatkę. Okay. Czy za pomocą tej szmatki będziemy mogli otworzyć grzejnik? Aha, dobra. Czyli już wiem, dlaczego ten kranik tam przyciekał. Powinniśmy zwilżyć chusteczkę. Możemy też otworzyć szafkę. Gumiaki. Samuelu, ubierz je na swoje nogi. Będziesz wyglądał jak palacz. Dobra, czyli tak naprawdę wzięliśmy sobie z tego pomieszczenia chusteczkę i gumiaki. Grzejnika nie możemy otworzyć, ponieważ musimy nawilżyć chusteczkę, dlatego w tym celu udamy się z powrotem do celi Jamesa, a potem z powrotem do kotłowni. Tylko nie wiem do końca w jakim celu byśmy mieli otwierać ten grzejnik. Ok. Mam nadzieję, że chusteczka nie zdąży przeschnąć. Tak chyba było w Broken Swordzie, o ile dobrze pamiętam, że jeżeli nawilżyliśmy chusteczkę, to mieliśmy ograniczony czas, żeby dojść do danego miejsca i naszej ona wyschła i musieliśmy czynność powtarzać. No dobra, i co dalej? Zwarliśmy grzejnik, tak jakbyśmy mogli coś tam wrzucić. Może te stare gumioki. A, czyli tak naprawdę zrobiliśmy jedną wielką dymowę w kotłowni. To powinno przykuć uwagę palacza. Ale my tak naprawdę potrzebujemy klucza do starej kapliczki. No a tak się dobrze składa, że kotłowniczy zostawił klucze w drzwiach. Ja bym chętnie go tam zamknął, ale boję się, że się zaczadzi i... No i tyle by było po palaczu. Umarłby na miejscu. Kto by był winny śmierci palacza? Samuel. Dobra. Nasz kolejny cel. Udać się do kapliczki i wziąć próbkę włosów Jamesa. James's body. I need a little hair for comparison with the sample that Herman was clasping in his hand. I need to use something to cut off a little hair. I don't want to touch him with my hands. Ale tak, nożyka nie mamy. Nożyczek nie mamy. Mamy tylko małe plastikowe torebki. Czy to wystarczy? Nie. Dobra, rozejrzyjmy się. Może coś tutaj znajdziemy. Mamy odłamki. Myślę, że to wystarczy. Okay. 
this should do. Where could I have a close look at it? Well, maybe just. I'll go back to the morgue and use Herman's microscope. Dobra, podejdźmy sobie zatem do stołu i użyjmy mikroskopu. Co ciekawe, ciało Hermana zniknęło. It's set up properly now. I can use it. Wasn't James who killed Herman? But who was it then? Who's got a black? Morris. No właśnie, tak jak powiedziałem, wydaje mi się, że James nie zabił Hermana, ale Samuel ma kolejny trop. Morris ma czarne włosy. Czyli co? Musimy powrócić do posiadłości Black Mirror i musimy udać się do stajni. Chociaż nie wydaje mi się, żeby Morris zabił Hermana. Czy oni się w ogóle znali? Morris isn't here. Where could he have gone? Nie ma Morisa. Zostawił jakiś list. A letter. Strange things have been happening around here. It all began a few days after the funeral of old Mr. Gordon, when his Mr. heir Samuel Gordon. returned to when the his manor. heir Samuel returned to the manor. I haven't got a clue as to what's going on, but when somebody finds this note, I'll be far away already. It seems to me that that detective wants to frame me for Henry's murder, so I won't be hanging around. I'm going to go while there's still time. Feel free to keep my last month's wage and don't bother looking for me. I won't be returning. Morris. Morris has run away. I knew he couldn't be trusted. What if it was he who committed the murders? Dobra. Morris uciekł, ale mimo wszystko wydaje mi się, że on tego nie mógł zrobić. Uh, jak zdobyć próbkę jego włosów? Podejdźmy do włącznika. Mamy czapkę. Morris's cap. Ale czy w czapce znajdują się próbki włosów? I found a little hair. I should examine it closely. Maybe this sample will match the one Herman was clasping in his hand. Dobra, pobierzmy próbkę i wróćmy z powrotem do kostnicy Hermana. Mamy kolejną próbkę do porównania. Chociaż tak jak podejrzewam, wydaje mi się, że to nie jest Morris. No, Morris isn't the murderer I'm looking for either. But if it isn't him, then who? No, właśnie. Jeżeli to nie jest Morris, to kto jest mordercą? O to jest pytanie. Gdzie byśmy mogli się teraz udać? Eee, może udamy się do Black Mirror. Pogadamy sobie z Batesem, pogadamy sobie z Wiktorią, powiemy im o tym, co się wydarzyło. A, dobra. Możemy też wejść do pracowni Roberta. Mamy jego klucze w sumie. It's 
locked. Robert's study. I feel as though he were watching me even now. Okay, rozejrzyjmy się tutaj. Another key. Who's the man in the picture? I've never seen his face before. I have to find his place in the past and obtain his key. Kim jest ten osobnik? O to jest pytanie. Hmm. Anatomy. Szklany pojemnik na leki. Some medicine. I'd better leave it alone. There's a solution of a distinct color in some of the tubes. Maybe this is what Robert was working on all the time. The liquid in the tube smells very bad. A no, i mamy kluczyk. It's locked. Dobra, sprawdźmy, czy ten kluczyk pasuje. It looks like a security code. There's nothing else there, just papers and a book. Wzięliśmy sobie jakąś kartkę. It can't be opened. Sophie, Robert's wife. She left him many years ago. Dobra, w dolnej szufladzie nic nie było. I'm tired, but I won't rest yet. Robert's diploma in medicine. Wow. Wystraszyłem się, szczerze powiedziawszy. Exactly 12? It probably doesn't work. Aha. Czyli my możemy tutaj ustawić jakąś godzinę. Tylko jaką? Robert has left this one opened. He won't be able to finish it now. Study of the human brain. Hmm. Hmm. Assorted medical literature. Medical volumes. There's no point in skimming through these. Most of them are in Latin. Są w większości po łacinie. Mamy też światło. Ogólnie zastanawia mnie to. A code of some sort. Strange, there's no writing on it. Wygląda troszeczkę jak banknot. A banknoty, jak dobrze wiecie, kiedy nakierujecie na światło, to pokazuje się znak wodny. Spróbujmy. Six, three, zero, eight, one. 63081 no jakiś rodzaj kodu That is a year prior to building the foundation of the castle MCXX It sheds a strange greenish light Co oznacza MCXX XX to są na pewno dziesiątki, czyli 20, a MC? Wow, nie mam zielonego pojęcia. Zapewne musimy ustawić taką godzinę na zegarze. Czyli tak, 20 minut, ok, ale godzina jaka? Co to jest MC? Na pewno nie jest to jedynka. MC wydaje mi się, że to będzie od dziesiątki w górę. Dobra, dwunastka nie działa. Sprawdźmy na jedenaście. Czyli 
czy ja muszę to tak ustawiać? Ok, dobra, spróbujmy tak. No nie, ustawiła mi się dziesiątka, a jedenastka? O, działa. A secret bookcase. Robot had more secrets than anyone would have suspected. I mamy safe w ścianie. Aha, dobra, ja muszę tutaj wpisać ten kod. Tylko nie pamiętam, jak on już brzmiał. Sprawdźmy zatem jeszcze raz. Six, three. This is the right combination. Co kryje się w środku? Co my tutaj mamy? Pierścień. It must be very old. Jakiś list. Dear Samuel, it was not easy for me to find fitting words for these first lines that I hope you are reading. As well as it was not easy to find out where you were living. I hope that my letter will reach your hands as soon as possible, as there is not much time left. Since your departure, I have contributed all my efforts and endless hours of sleepless nights looking for the truth about our family. I feel that I am already very close to beholding its full face, and I am concerned that I might not have the strength to look at it alone. Therefore I am turning to you, Samuel, for I know that you will hear out my plea. In this envelope, you will find the ancient ring of our heritage. It is very important that you always have it with you. Take extraordinary care of it. I will explain everything when you arrive. Please return to our manor and help me. I know my time is closing in. I can feel it. I am afraid. William knew something, but now there's no way to find out what. Maybe I could have helped him if I had received the letter on time. I hope you're frying in hell. Can you hear me, Robert? Dobra. Co dalej? No bo je. It's a 3.5 millimeter. I have no clue what's in them. A chemical of some sort, that's for sure. There are dates on the labels, month after month. Kolejny list. I, William Gordon, have decided to bequeath my possessions as follows. To my dear Victoria, I give and will all my personal possessions, the family jewels and valuables, as they righteously belong to her, to her heirs and assigns forever. To my grandson, Samuel Gordon, I hereby transfer the ownership of the Black Mirror Castle with all the neighboring lands. To him I also devise the administration of our family residence. Let him take care of it properly, as I no longer can. To his heir and assigns forever. To my beloved son James, I give the full right to live in his native residence for however long he should desire, until the end of his days. By this I hope to at least partially atone for your having to live in complete loneliness, my dear James. And lastly, to my firstborn son Robert. After long pondering, I have decided to deny the right to the property of our family. However, I do retain his right to his property and things that he has been making use of in our family residence. 
I know that you are well aware of the reason of my decision, Robert. In my eyes, you are no longer worthy of the name Gordon. These decisions I make of my own free will, and in the best of conscience, William Gordon. William's last will was apparently meant to stay hidden from everyone. Robert, I see now I didn't know you at all, you bloody beast. Dobra, czyli teraz już wiem, że James był synem Williama i Robert chciał się go pozbyć po to, żeby przejąć to, co miał przejąć James. Mniej więcej tak to rozumiem. Wow. Ciekawe. Pamiętnik. Robert's diary. May 2nd. Tomorrow I will visit Dr. Herman in the morgue. If he understands what I wrote to him in my letters, it shouldn't be too hard to convince him. I think he's my man. May 3. The visit to Herman fulfilled my expectations. Our secret agreement will make further progress in my research much easier. It did not take much effort to convince him to cooperate, just as I expected. Herman understands that science and research of novel concepts sometimes demands sacrifices. He agreed to take care of the first delivery tomorrow already, which suits my plans perfectly. If it were not for him, I do not know how it would be possible for me to keep on disposing of those damn bodies. A few corpses disappear without a trace certainly will not be a problem for him as a pathologist. Last, I can resume work on the tests. May 8th. Previous tests were no use, and several months of work turned out completely futile. God's sake, where could I have made a mistake? Where? Calculated all the components almost a thousand times, and just haven't a clue as to what could be wrong. It's starting to make me tired. It's taking much too long. And with every new day, I'm afraid that someone will find out. It is with great luck that I convinced Herman to cooperate at the right moment. Either I improve the composition of the substance, or raise doses as they are. Otherwise, I cannot proceed further. Yes, that's it. The composition is correct. I merely require to raise the dosage. Yes, could have started sooner with them. Oh. I will raise the concentration by a hundred percent. May 9. Administered the higher concentrate to two subjects. I have to wait several days before I can make accurate measurements. At least I can now take a rest from all the figures and calculations. May 12. I thought I would not have to take any notes for the next few days. But I had a word with James today. He was acting differently than usual and spoke about things that must never come to light. He knows too much about the methods of my research and can expose me. And worse, they would believe him. Do not know what to do now. Locked in that cell of his, he's trying to corner me. How ironic. Never before have I considered direct violence. But he is a threat to all my efforts and everything that I have achieved. May 13. Things are apparently worse than I thought. The head nurse spoke to James, and she herself suggested to me that we should release him for some time. It was quite an effort to convince her that James must stay where he is because of his condition. I have no clue what he told her to make her believe him, but I'm afraid he may tell her everything next time. Must not happen. He is not the fool I thought he was. I have to get rid of him somehow. May 15. Everything I once held firm in my hands is beginning to crumble and fall like a house of cards. Higher doses have had no effect. I verified all the measurements twice. Do not know how to continue. The whole affair with James refuses resolution. He must never be allowed to return to Black Mirror. Do what has to be done. There is only one possibility left. Only one solution. I will dispense with the calculations and raise the ratio of the effective substance by another hundred percent. I know whose veins I will inject the serum into this time. Herman helped Robert hide the results of his experiments. The bodies of the patients would end up in his morgue and no one was to find out. Okay. 
dowiedzieliśmy się całą prawdę o Robercie. More tubes with that smelly solution. Powiem tak, był z niego naprawdę kawał skurwy syna. Ale słuchajcie moi kochani, w tym miejscu zakończymy ten odcineczek. Mam nadzieję, że wam się podobało. Dzięki wielkie za uwagę, trzymajcie się i do usłyszenia w kolejnym, mam nadzieję, że już ostatnim. Piona!